<laughs> yeah, I just got off work a little early, so, you know, about to cook a little something up for us. Honey, <laughs> I was not expecting you to be home so soon. Oh my goodness, this is awkward. Be weird, baby, I was just awkward. <laughs> I just got off a little early. Who was that? Ew. It's taking so long, I just got the bath. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Carl, I can explain. Um, you know what? No. You're boring. Okay, I'm tired of dating you. You don't bring no excitement, no joy, no spontaneous. Like, stuff is boring. And <sighs> with Daryl, it's just different. So don't sit up there and act all shocked and surprised like you didn't see this coming. How was I actually supposed to see this coming? You kept lying to me, telling me you were happy and... We go on trips, I buy you nice things, I cook for you. I do all this wonderful good stuff for you. You said you ain't never been treated right. I treat you different from everybody, but yet I'm not good enough for you. Are you kidding me? Those things are great, okay? But you just don't have a backbone, and I don't want that, okay? He does whatever he wants, and you do whatever I want, okay? No fun, no energy, no spontaneousness, no nothing. I see how it is. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is it. You know what? <laughs> I hope he can make you happy and all of that. Look, I ain't trying to get in y'all business, but I came over here for a reason, all right? So y'all can talk about this another time, but me and Sarah, we got business to handle. Daryl, you need to stop. But no, <laughs> there will be no next time. You can leave, go, okay? You got three homes, pick one. Go to it, find you a woman that loves you, treats you right, that treats you better, because it's not me, okay? <sighs> I don't want you. This is over, okay? This is the last time we're gonna talk. I see your true colors, but thank you. I'm out.